Today we're going to build an app for a restaurant bar in Taiwan called Tin Pan Alley. And of course I've only got a Facebook page, but on that page is all the information we need to build our app, including photos, contact details, menus, etc. Okay, so let's create a new app. And I'm going to go to page 10. And for this one I'm going to choose the blank template. Select that. Okay, so now use template. The reason I'm using a blank template is just to make it easier for you to see how it's all done. And we don't have to worry about anything else that might have been there before. So Tin Pan Alley, create. So let's configure our app. Tin Pan Alley, that's how it's going to appear in the App Store. We'll separate that out into separate words. Enter the App Store description. Let's pull something from the About page. Okay, we'll take this short description here. Let's give it something else. Ten Panelli Restaurant and Bar. Next. We're going to build for the Android first. That's because it's easy to publish to Google Play. And we want to test the app, make sure everything's working before we submit to Apple App Store. Okay. Why don't we try out custom tabs? Something interesting. Go next. Okay, upload our icon. Okay, so let's look for an image for the icon. And click on the images in the Facebook page and I quite like this one. I think this is quite appropriate. So we'll save that. And I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to put it in the folder called Tin Pan Alley Images. I'm going to name it I'm just going to name it Tin Pan Alley Logo. Okay, as you can see the icon size we need is 57 pixels by 57 pixels. Well actually there are a lot of icons we need to create even just for a one Android app and then we've got to do it again for iPhone. So we're going to install a script for GIMP that will create every icon that we want. I'll include a link to this download in the members area and in the PDF. Let's click on download script, save file, let's just put it into iCache test for the moment. It's a RAR file so we have to un -RAR that. Okay now we just need to extract this file so let's extract it right here. Extract. Okay, that's that done. And you can see the folders here. And script foo save android icons.scm. This is the file we need to copy into GIMP. Now it says here we need to copy it into the folder C program files GIMP 2.0 share GIMP 2.0 scripts. Okay. So let's go to C. Program files, GIMP2, share, GIMP 2.0, scripts. Okay, and of course you only have to do this once. This is only for this time, and you'll never have to do this again, unless you reinstall your whole computer or something. Okay, we copied that in, and now we just need to start up GIMP again. So GIMP's already running. I had it running already, so I better close it off and we run GIMP again and our script will be inside GIMP and as you can see there's now a new menu item script for Android so let's load our image and use this script so let's grab the image we downloaded we'd put it under Tin Pen Alley images and we'll load this up using GIMP so if I right click on that edit with GIMP we'll get rid of that the image Tin Pen Alley has embedded color profile Convert the image to RGB workspace. You will convert it. Okay, here's our image, and ideally we want to resize this to at least 512 pixels by 512 pixels. And from that we will create all our icons. Since this image is almost square, I'm just going to use scale and I'm going to unlock the dimensions and put it 512 by 512 and just scale it. Alright, so now We've got a square 512 by 512 icon. I'm going to save that. 
I'm just going to name it 512 right, 512 so I know what it is let's save it now let's say we want to give our icon round corners that's easy to do especially with an image which is flat and has no layers to it so we go to filters click on decor and then round corners and for a 512 by 512 image I find the edge radius of 77 looks pretty good okay we don't want drop shadow we don't want background and we're not working on a copy okay click OK and now we've got round corners so now let's use our script to generate all our icons go to script foo Android save Android icons and in this dialog box the only thing we need to change is save mode I think it's actually more useful to append resolution to file name so that's what we're going to do and it will go into our images folder which we created for this app and everything else we just leave it as it is okay and all our icons are done so let's go ahead and check them and there they are there we've got 36 by 36 48 by 48 72 by 72 96 by 96 but there's actually one icon missing and that's one we wanted in the first place 57 by 57 so we better do that one we we'll go back to script foo android save android icons we're going to choose custom icon and it's going to be 57 by 57 and I'll move the dialog box up and click OK so browse Tin Pan Alley images now 57 by 57 OK upload okay, there's our icon next step OK let's check the font color and it's a grey and I don't think it's going to go with this app I'm going to go for something like an orange you can always change this later but that's what I'm going to choose initially is the font colour maybe a light yellow ok choose that and I'll leave everything else as it is next step now the background colour let's see what the background colour is ok I like a dark colour that's quite good probably be good for the restaurant bar look how about background image I'm going to get this gradient I think that's quite nice but there's quite a lot of background images you can choose from I just like to keep it simple so anyway, I'm going to back to number one and choose that gradient add it to resources that's quite nice choose that okay and next company name tin pan alley address Let's go back to Facebook, go back to the About page, and there's an address here. We'll put it in Chinese. Let's copy that whole thing. Okay, we've got the address. Take the phone number off that. Tidy that up. Into Tainan, Taiwan. Email. Here's the email that in there maybe we'll take the full area code phone number okay next and we're done okay now we need to add some content to our app so let's edit our pages click on edit pages and as you can see there are only four tabs here one two three four click on edit for tab one and click on convert page and I'm going to choose the large button menu I quite like that as a menu page as a front page and here it is here large button menu okay scroll down click on convert and now we have the large button menu as the front page of our app okay the first thing I want to do is put in a new header image in there so let's open up our logo we saved earlier edit it with GIMP and it's going to convert yes and here is the image now I'd like to blend a little bit of transparency down the bottom so it blends nicely into our background so I'm going to go to layer transparency add alpha channel then we go to layer mask add layer mask this dialog pops up and we choose layers alpha channel add okay now we go to the gradient tool 
and we're going to select FG to transparent. We need to have the transparent side on the left, going to the right actually. Black, white, it's all good. Right, so now when I click here and drag directly downwards, we'll get a little blend. There we go. Now we just need to resize the image to the size we want, and generally 320 pixels wide is right. So we we'll change that to 320 wide, and the height will automatically scale. And there's our image. Now let's export that, and it has to be exported as a PNG file. I'm going to call it Tinpin Alley Header. PNG. The reason it has to be a PNG file is because it's got a transparency in it. If it was a JPEG, the transparency would turn black, probably. Okay, so export. And we can uncheck all these. Don't really need any of that information added. Okay, now we can upload that to our app. Header image. Click on there. Click on upload file. Click on upload files dialog box. And here's our new image tinpinalley-header.png open wait for it to upload okay that's been uploaded now we're going to click choose and there it is there okay let's have a quick look at the general layout I'm going to use for this app tab 1 is going to be map and directions contact us a GPS check-in coupon QR code scanner why a QR code scanner? because it's a GWiz thing but also it's something that a lot of people don't have on their phones already and it's a very useful thing that will bring people back to the application. Tab 2, just going to be their Facebook page. Tab 3, a game. The owner wanted a game, so he's going to get a game. Tab 4, About Us. Menu, Opening Hours, Tainan News, we'll take a news feed from Yahoo. Tin Pan Alley Videos, and we'll pull those from YouTube. So let's add our labels to Tab 1. This one is Directions. And then we're going to have contact us. And we'll change these icons later, but the next one is going to be GPS coupon. And the next one, QR code scanner, if that'll fit. And it does. It might not fit on the phone, so we might shorten that. Save. And actually, we don't need login, so we're going to delete that. And we don't need hot coffee, so we're going to delete that one as well. So let's click Save and Done. And now let's edit Tab 2. Tab 2, we're going to convert the page to a Facebook page. We just scroll down to Facebook page type, Social page types. It's going to be just the Facebook page. Click on Convert. And now we can put in their page name Tin Pan Alley Taiwan save done next we'll edit tab 3.html we're going to convert that to a game and the easiest game to choose and of course we can change this later is the puzzle game click on convert now we just need an image for our puzzle okay for now we're just putting the tin pan alley header image but we'll choose a better image later save and done. Now tab 4 is going to be another menu page. So click on tab 4, convert, and let's display the page types. And I quite like the stripes menu. And then click on convert. Okay, we still need to fix up these links. Click on save. Okay, I think it's time to have a quick look at the app on our phone, and then we'll fix up all the links. Okay, let's test out this Tin Pan Alley app. Okay, this splash screen, we need to fix that. Uh, this image may be too big, we don't want it scrolling like that. We've got no icons for the tabs yet. We've got to fix these links up. Icons there. Tab 2. It's a Facebook page. Okay, that's fine. It works. Wait for it to load. There we go. Tab 3, this is the game, very easy, it's a quick thing to put into an app. Tab 4, we've still got to link up these icons, we're going to put in a news feed, YouTube feed, etc. Okay, let's get on to that in the next video.